Green Grease, the waterproof, fertilizer-resistant synthetic grease that lasts up to eight times longer than regular grease. Now available at participating Napa stores, AutoZone, Tractor Supply, and Advanced Auto Parts. On this episode of Tractor Fanatic, we'll check out Don and Carl Vilwalk's collection of antique farming equipment. And this is the museum. Yeah, we call this Carl's How you doing, Museum. Man? This is the museum. This is the museum. Now, uh, I, Carl told me that I can have this, so I'm going to load <laughs> it up and take it home because it's perfect for my yard. 59 inch cut, small enough. Now, what year is this? Somewhere not quite as 60, we think. Uh, they had a lot of cubs through the years and actually. Uh, uh, started out in the uh, late 50s with cubs, and then they improved them through the years. And the one that's got the white on them tend to be the newer ones. Okay, so the, now this is where that's where the cub cadet came from. Yes. So this was the cub, and the little ride mowers were the cadets. Okay, because exactly. my grandpa had a cub cadet, and I always wondered what that was all about. Now, what's most of this stuff in the museum? Is this more farm implement? We've got a little type? bit of everything, household items and farm equipment. Here's a seed cleaner that, and sizer that you could actually size your seed corn as you get ready for the next year's planting when they collected their own ears and saved those. What is this thing, the clipper? Well, the clipper is actually, this is what they call a salesman sample of a seed cleaner and you dump your wheat seed in here in the top and you turn, uh, turn the crank here and comes out here. And it would uh, separate out the weed seeds and uh, the chaff from the wheat and make it so you could save uh, the seed for uh, seed for the next year. So this on top here is the salesman sample and this red underneath was the actual the full size clipper that this represents. And so uh, for a salesman it was easier for him to pack around this small one rather than to take the full size so one with him. So. Yeah, that would be a hard thing to carry. Well, this was. What about carrying this thing? And it's that's somebody's, enough. Yeah, that's well, enough as it is, isn't it? Now this. What do you think that is? Something for a baby. That looks like a cradle. That's a washing washing machine. So you put your clothes in there, and you sit right next to it, and you rock it back and forth, and. Hopefully the agitation will help get your clothes a little bit uh, cleaner. Or, you know, in your house you got a washing machine or whatever. They got a washing machine like that. Hand manual. What is happening to us, folks? I mean, hand manual washing machine. That's like one step up above beating your clothes on a rock. This is interesting. Tell me about this. That's a, another washing machine. Look at Actually, that. Actually, there's a couple of ways to do this washing machine, and it might be by hand, but I think that would get old all afternoon that you were doing that and so this actually has a pulley that could be connected to a little engine a little gas engine or right next door here is a dog treadle and you would put your dog oh. in this treadle and you would have him kind of run in place much like a treadmill we have today and then that would turn this pulley that you would hook with a belt back here to the wash machine and so your German Shepherd would help you do uh, your laundry every day. So dogs doing laundry. And we oh. thought we had all this technology stuff going out. Dogs that do laundry. That's great. Or in my case, if you was the youngest kid in the family, maybe <laughs> you got to do that. So. <laughs> did you ever have to do that? I never did that, no. And the lawnmower? Well, I bet you can figure out what that is. Well, this I think I might be able to. This is for uh, trimming. It is. And that's a wow. mowing machine, so. So you had to actually walk and, you had to walk and do this? I think you did. Are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. The little push mower, it's not just you gotta push it, you gotta do like this. You know how wore out you would be if you had to do your whole yard like this? Uh, or how ripped you'd be? <laughs> oh my God. Forget the P90X, I'm gonna take that thing home. Cut the grass. By the time I'm done with the yard, I'll look like Arnold. What's his face? So well, I'm not tearing. They were looking for an easy way to uh, mow their yard or trim around or do a few things. God, well, think what it would do to your toe. How unsafe is that? It's just open blades, you know? 
Green Grease, the waterproof fertilizer resistant synthetic grease that lasts up to eight times longer than regular grease. Use Green Grease on your car, truck, tractor, boat trailer, wheel bearings, anything with a grease fitting. Green Grease seals and protects even underwater. Now available at participating Napa stores, AutoZone, Tractor Supply, and Advance Auto Parts. You've probably seen this kind of a well uh, bucket, and that actually was at our farm that we lowered down into our well. So this was yours? Yeah, it was ours. So we had that uh, there uh, for many years, and I actually had a ladle and drank out of that before. So, so you got to know this bucket pretty well, yes, didn't you? Yes, we did. Pretty well. I said <laughs> well, didn't I? Come on. What's this thing? A, a smut destroyer. My <laughs> mother would want to have one of these. Oh yeah, no, that's not to take to Hollywood. That's uh, <laughs> that's to treat uh, your uh, seed in case it had uh, smut infection in it. You know, you can actually get these on TV now for 19.95, <laughs> but they use them to get stuff off of shelves and stuff. Oh well, well, and we have one of those around here some oh, right handy. here. You got one? Yeah, we actually have they, one of those. That's oh, they not, made those back then too, huh? That wasn't a new invention. Uh, this is a picker as well. I imagine that's an early 1900 picker, and so uh, our infomercials are nothing new. <laughs> They're not, not, are they? There may not Look be. Look at this. You got these crazy pitchforks right yeah. here. You got your uh, WWE wrestling belt buckle <laughs> right there. That's cool. Now you were talking about your garden and how you wanted to raise your tomatoes. Actually, this you put your you powder make... in here. And it'll blow out, your, your blow ears. out the dust and <laughs> that also is your ears. loud. Is it supposed to be that loud? I don't know if it is. Scares right. off varmints yeah. while you fumigate? That's yeah. pretty cool. So, so when you're not farming, you were playing tennis. Somebody might have been, or that might have been in a box at an auction when we wanted something else in the box. That's one thing about collecting antiques. You get a little bit... Uh, a few surprises along the way when you buy a big box full of things. These strings are actually pretty tight. Uh, yeah, those are good. Later on, me and you in the barn. There we go. What's this in here? Well, a few Just more things and knickknacks, a little memorabilia and uh, bottles that are labeled and uh, quite often they may be from the area. Uh, royal Palm, I don't know that you can get a Royal Palm soda anymore, but quite often uh, they're labeled, and this one was made in Bicknell, Indiana. About five years ago in Edwardsport, we actually still used a voting machine like that. And no so, kidding. So is this what went wrong down in Florida with the Chads? I think this would have been better than the Chads. Uh, this would have been safer than the Chads. So there you got all the names on there and stuff. You just yeah. put down Republican or Democrat. That is cool. Yep, yep, so. John Wayne toilet tissue. It's rough. It's tough. And it doesn't take crap off of anyone. <laughs> Atometer. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> Sorry. Shoot. So that's what an early this? calculator uh, that uh, that uh, folks had somewhere in here. Is, a pencil or is, is the? Or did you use this? Use that in the stylus. A stylus. Look at this. So you so, dialed your numbers in and. Like this. Yep. Oh, that clears it out? That clears it. You just erased the solution to world peace right there. Ouch. Hold on, I can <laughs> fix that. Watch. This here is a little bit interesting for women. And they would lay back and put their hair on that and heat that up. And then they'd run that over that to style their hair. A little bit different. That is a little bit different. How long did that take? I, don't I think know. it takes them a long time to get ready now. Holy crap. What the official name is granddad's museum and so my niece come up with that for my dad one time and uh, he she named it christy named it granddad's museum and so we've called it that ever since so uh, good name so we had a great time with the bill walks today they got a beautiful farm and beautiful machinery thanks for stopping by <laughs>